Now I will consider the elevation, the elevation of from the bottom of my vessel to the center line of my pump. I have two ways to do that. I can use one, just one, one pipe segment with seven meters and consider the elevation changes into meters, or I can use two pipe segments, one for the two meters and other for five meters. I will use the second case to just to let uh, easier to you understand what I'm doing and what is uh, the relevance in the calculations. Okay, so now let's return to to a process, and now I will add the first pipe segment, the second pipe segment, and this one will be on the vertical to let me to be easier to me to identify that it is vertical. As I told you, it's totally optional, okay? You don't need to do this way. You can use just one pipe segment and have the same result. But in order to, to verify the calculations, it is easier this way. As we had in the, as we did in the first part, what I will do is go to rating, add a pipe segment, and now I have in my in my schematic I have information of the size of the pipeline. So you can see that it is eight inches nominal diameter. So the length is true, and again as it is going to 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 below, we will consider minus two. And of course, that the elevation cannot be uh, higher than the pipe length. It can be uh, equal or minus than the pipe length. And the outside diameter, uh, in many cases, we, we, we use a standard schedule as the reference for, for piping installation. But it depends on the pressure operating pressure, the design pressure of the system. And here it is already in inches, so I can use the eight inches. And you see that the in, in inner diameter is smaller than the nominal diameter. And it is this way because you have the thickness. So the out, outlet minus the thickness, uh, two times the thickness because you have thickness in in the top and in the bottom, you will have the inner diameter. And all the calculations related to the fluid flow is based on uh, the inner diameter, not the outside diameter. You will use the outside diameter when we are talking about heat leaking, but it's not the case in this, in this exercise. So based on heat transfer, it will be always zero. And again, now I have what is the pressure at the, the bottom of, my, of my, my vessel? Now I have the 2.238 uh, bar, okay? Now let's add the, this pipe segment. Same. This one is five meters. There is no level level uh, change, and we we use almost the same information. Okay. Okay, now to, to be more detailed in my, my process simulation, remember that it is a, a sketch. So from this sketch, I can see that there is an isolation valve, there is a strainer, there is a reducer. I can add that to my process simulation to have a more accurate result. I will not do that, but I will show you how you can do this. In fact, I will only install a, a manual valve, isolation valve, just an isolation valve. Let's see here. 
So to add fittings instead of pipings in your process simulation, you just need to, to click on pipe segment. And here you, I have added pipe in the, in the first part. But here I will add, uh, now I will add fittings. So you have a list of fittings that you can use. And if the fittings that you want to use is not available here, you can use user uh, define it. And of course, if you have a source of information to define to you the K values. So here, as we are talking about a uh, eight inches pipe uh, pipe segment, I will use, I will consider a butterfly valve because a butterfly valve is a more cheaper, uh, is a cheaper uh, uh, manual valve. So usually we use a uh, a uh, butterfly valve instead of using uh, a bow valve or instead of using a gate valve or a globe valve and uh, as I don't want to regulate anything in the suction of my pump I will not use a globe valve because it adds more pressure drop it is for in many cases it is for regulation not for isolation so just to add some considerations related to pressure drop in the this pipe segment are using this butterfly valve and another thing is that why i didn't use it the butterfly valve in the vertical line instead and i using in the horizontal uh, line there is a reason for that uh, i just forgot to add the inner diameter so uh, you can use it's a uh, uh, butterfly valve is a uh, 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 a full a full bottle so i will use the same size in a size okay two inches okay now it's converted 